previously on Next Action Star. There are 30 of you here right now. In 48 hours, half of you will be going home. I am so excited to see what's in store for us. Lock up. <laughs> you lack confidence. I personally disagree. What is with you? I'm thinking. That's all I'm thinking. I thought you would beat all of us up. I'm not shy and I have no shame. Damn it! Stop it! We're the threat! Run! <laughs> Yeah, I am bleeding. This is a competition, right? She's just doing too much. And... As big as Viviana is, I let her drown me out. This is the thing! I wish I had a different scene partner. Give me that. They don't like what you're doing. You're getting sent home. I was sent here for a purpose, and that's to become the next Ash star. If I'm not here in Hollywood, I don't want to be anywhere. From thousands, 30 made it to Hollywood. One man and one woman will become the next action star. Tomorrow, Scott and Marky and I have to decide who's going into the house. That means 14 people out of 20 remaining are going to now go into the house and go for broke. It's getting intense. You no know, success is the only one option I have. I am probably one of the most competitive people you will ever meet. I'm highly competitive. Failure is not an option. I love to win. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. But she said, don't you just love competition? Love, love, love competition. And she had this look in her face that scared me to death. I'm gonna make it. Even though we're green actors, there's a competition going on here too. And I'm just saying, if you play with me on the wrong day, the game can end up real, real dirty. We are grooming them to be stars. Hi, everybody. You might recognize this lovely lady next to me. She is an Emmy Award winning stylist and costume designer. She's Brenda Cooper, and she's going to take really good care of you guys tonight, okay? So please welcome Brenda from E Entertainment's Fashion Emergency. Thank you. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. I will take such good care of you guys. First of all, it is my job to make each and every one of you be the very best that you can be. We may be making some major changes. <laughs> and I mean major. I heard some laughter over in the back. Could we, could we talk about that? Because you can be, you can be majorly changed. <laughs> Very quickly, does anyone have any questions? Stop touching your breasts, Viviana. Okay. <laughs> okay, any questions from anybody? And uh, the first time I showed up at the casting, I had blue eyes. And I'm all about blue eyes and dark hair. I don't feel that I'm myself without the blue eyes. I love the blue eyes. I know I wasn't born with them, but right. I need blue eyes, and I have them upstairs. And they're just like waiting okay. for me. Okay, but you have to stop touching your breasts, okay. Viviana. <laughs> Viviana, she knows exactly what she's doing. You know, there's that Anna Nicole show. There'll be the Viviana show one day, I guarantee it. Because you never know what's going to happen. You can't love blue eyes more than what you were born with. You have to be the best that you can be with what you were given. I could have said I wanted to choose to keep my own look. But honestly, I wanted to be what they were looking for. Before we go, I want Victoria to come in because she is going to give you your pairings for your scenes tomorrow. Victoria has assigned us our scene partners. Maybe it's just empirical. Maybe it's just like, hey, look, these two people might look good together. Sean and Linda. John and Corinne. Jared and Melisande. She's a casting director. She's someone who can see where chemistry can work. So maybe that's what Santino she sees. Dino and May Young and Krista, and Matt, and Summer. So, guys, we're off to the beauty parlor. If you'd all like to fall in behind me, troops, off we go. Right now, we're in one of LA's top hair and beauty salons. And we're about to change the images of a lot of the contestants give us a sense of Hollywood. See, I'm not talking about clean, short haircut. I don't want to do this on you. James Dean. Yes. 
You know something blonde? You're right. Blonde. Yeah, blonde. Okay. She's a star. Yeah. Star. 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 S-T-A-R. It's, it's, it's huge for her to go blonde. To yeah. take her blonde and then to take her hair off, I think it's I never went blonde. Better. I never had a desire to be blonde. I, I was terrified. I was terrified. I was reluctant in the beginning because I've had four really bad short haircuts in my lifetime. And as a result, I stayed as far away from short hair as I possibly could. When I was a kid, I was not pretty at all. <laughs> so I think I had to make myself pretty. I feel that without the makeup and the whole thing, I'm like naked. And as long as we're trying and you don't give up until you don't feel it's right. Yeah, no, I will never give up on you. I want to say I'm sorry to my old man back home watching this right now. That's all I want to say. Makeup and hair and all that good stuff is part of the business. As much as I want to try to be a manly man, it's still part of the business. You know, the big picture is I don't have any, I don't second guess my manhood. What you about to do? Because I'm an action star, man. I ain't with all this extra. What they gonna do what? They got these cameras on me. My mama and them watching this. I don't want y'all to see me jumping or nothing, so um, why don't y'all go get somebody else? My eye real sensitive. I had surgery on my... Let me know. I'm still from the hood. I'm still thugging. Remember that. Oh! What the? <laughs> I am Kennedy! What the? Oh! remember what I looked like with long hair. I mean, this looks so good on me. I don't want you to die, but you're dying. It's going to affect me. Right. We're going to have another screen test tomorrow, which we're all looking forward to. I'll, 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 I'll always love you, and I'm going to kiss you. Okay. My scene partner tomorrow is young, and we're going to practice really hard, and we're going to nail it. So when I, I first read it, I thought I was Corey. Yeah. If I read you want to do Corey, Corey then, then go all for it. Yeah? I'll, do, okay. I'll do paint. I have so rarely been in an environment like this where everyone is so talented, so beautiful, so bigger than life. We gotta get out of here, right now, right now. I've trained and worked so hard to be an actor. And if I make it further, then that means I'm one step closer to accomplishing my dreams. Are you an action star? Yes, I am. Do you feel like an action star? I totally feel it. It's fun. Being blonde is actually fun. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice. This is just like too crazy with hair. It's amazing. Really? It's amazing. It's like, it's really like kind of sexy London punk rock. But did you mess all your hair up? A little. Okay. I'm not happy about the makeup. I went from exotic bird to look-alike wannabe Salma Hayek. Can you like push her over there, there and her over here? This one over here. Can you tell right? the twins to behave, please? Okay. Yeah. Can you stop. Hey guys, it's been a long, hard day, but I think that you really look fantastic. You guys get to go and have a nice dinner. <laughs> However, you've got a very early call in the morning. Nothing too sweet and nothing too dry. Uh, By 30 we breakfast, 6 o'clock we call. We're just enjoying the food at the cantina. We see other people, you know, using the time to rehearse. House and Viviana are off rehearsing in this little trailer area in there. And um, House is tired. It's been a long day. Phaeton? Uh, I'm over here. I'm over here. Hang on, I'm right here, here, OK? I'm here. I'm here. What are you crying for? I haven't died yet. My partner, I call her DQ, not Dairy Queen, Drama Queen. House is just trying to have a good time, and Viviana gets a little mad at him, I think. You know, I cannot just deliver the lines like, like that. Hey, you bastard, where are you? I'm a girl. I got the furnace over my neck. When I feel weak, I find myself threatened by people. Taking all the energy out. Ah! 
Don't you patronize me, I'm not your nurse. Can you please stop it? Are you gonna act serious and focus now? I don't know anymore. Yeah, I just don't know who you are anymore. Okay, well. Ever since you got the freaking makeup, who I don't know who you are. Who you want me to be? Who you want me to be? I want you to be the lady I marry, okay? I want to remember you. I wouldn't marry you like that. When I feel that people don't respect me, it's a punch on my face, and I don't take that. You're acting like, I don't know. A drama queen. Yeah. Shut up! <gasps> you have to respect me. Don't ever disrespect me, please. If you don't respect me, I'll become your worst nightmare. Coming up on Next Action Star, the scene gets steamy. Melisande is really hot. Watch out, when we finish this scene, you're gonna be so in love with me. And later, the screen test. Moments after an earthquake, a newlywed couple say their last goodbye. Sean might make me look bad if I act in a scene with him because he's so good. You don't know what's next. I mean, we are told the minute things are done, what's gonna come next. Bye. Are you gonna take the key? Well, if you find it. We've had two hours sleep. I went to bed, it was four. Six more people will be eliminated after the next screen test, which is called Trapped. We didn't rehearse at all. Well, we sort of rehearsed. I wouldn't call that a rehearsal, but we got to know each other. I should be able to handle it, because improv. Oh my god. That's what I'm going on. <laughs> it's a very intense, very emotional scene. There's a lot of um, life at stake. This person could be dying kind of stuff, so you really got to get yourself there. <laughs> here in the Howard Fine acting studio and your coach for the day is Howard Fine himself. Wow. Yes. And everyone's like knows what's going on. They're all buzzing. I'm like, who is this guy? What's going on? Mr. Fine is considered one of the top coaches in the country <laughs> and this very studio has been the home to hundreds of top actors. Everybody from Brad Pitt to Salma Hayek, Oscar-winning Jennifer Connelly. Saying and then hearing who he's worked with and what he's done and, and where he can, what he can do for us was really exciting. So without further ado, it is my privilege to introduce to you Mr. Howard Fine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Congratulations. Okay, so that's, uh, I don't normally get a standing ovation when I walk into class. Howard Fine's function is to basically work with us on our scenes, to break down the scene, break down the character, um, how to find our emotion. The character has no independent life from you. Character is you. Every character you're going to play is found where? Inside you. That's one of the greatest misconceptions about acting. Yeah. I've always had a problem with the interpretation of Stanley Lavsky through uh, Lee Strasberg and so on and so forth as the sensory memory. Viviana, she was difficult right from the start. I think psychologically that's what Stanley Lavsky was talking about, the reality within you. I try very hard not to be a judgmental person and um, Viviana is a test, a huge test. I, I think you have some interesting and terrible misconceptions about the whole thing, which I will knock out of you very firmly. So what I did very quickly is set boundaries for her. And she tried to uh, cross those boundaries several times. Your life is what you have to bring to your work. Your life, your experience is who you are. Now see, your apathy, no, no, quiet, listen. Your apathy is part of who you are, right? Stop. If you're, if you're not listening, we got into the discussion about him not, me not listening, and he's right. Sometimes I don't want to listen. I made it through 
my life and to the United States without listening. Everybody told me I couldn't be here. Everybody told me there's no way you'll be an actress. And if I had listened to them, I wouldn't be here. It just may be that I know some things that can help you. You ever heard the expression, you must empty the glass in order for me to fill it? Okay, now you've got some very strong opinions. The glass is transparent, that's all I'm trying to say. No, the glass is full and it's loaded. <laughs> full of what? <water. laughs> <laughs> now. I didn't feel ashamed. I was very comfortable with myself. I felt uncomfortable about the response from my other classmates because they were like not liking me. Move past your comfort zone. Go further than you think you can go. But we're going to explore intimacy. Good. It's an intimate touching. Reach inside yourself for a transference. Someone from your own life that you're very attracted to. Or it could be a fantasy person. In Howard Fine's studio today, Howard has us sit down with our screen partner and do an intimacy exercise, which basically involves touching, which isn't just groping, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is serious actor stuff. Okay, it's groping, but it's also serious actor stuff. Two days ago, it was action. We were running from flames, and I thought that was a stretch, but this is far more intense. I've been paired with Melisande, who is a very, um, what's the word? She's got, um, one, she's really hot. Jared said, watch out. He said, when we finish this scene, you're going to be so in love with me. And uh, I thought to myself, what does he mean by that? When you're really there, you're completely vulnerable, and you're completely exposed. It's pretty much like being naked. Uh, you're just not physically naked, you're emotionally naked. Kissing scenes are difficult. I think they're difficult for everyone. I know they're difficult for myself. I'm getting married three weeks from tomorrow. <laughs> it scares me very much that I can't connect with May. <laughs> if I'm going into a scene and I don't have that feeling, it's, it's not gonna look right. I think she was looking for a more passionate view of it. She wants to you know, get involved with me. She wants a little bit more aggressiveness instead of the soft. She was going for the harder. some growth yes. in between um, runs, and um, but I feel like I've got a lot more room to grow. She made me forget about my haircut. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm new at this whole thing, and I, I it opened up a whole new door, so I'm, I felt like I moved forward. You did move forward. And I'm excited. Good. He was closing his eyes so much that I got a little jealous. <laughs> I was like, hey, wait. Come wait, back wait. to me. <laughs> like, I don't think it really worked, because I don't call me stupid, but I didn't get many compliments. So I, as an actor, you gotta be appreciated. If I don't get appreciation, I'm not good enough. Uh, so your self-esteem is dependent on what other people tell you. Viviana is a very passionate person and she loves to speak from her mind and from her heart, which no one should take away from that. I think I originally thought that she was purposely uh, being manipulative and, and, and disregarding other people's feelings and, and and just making a spectacle. I honestly think that she's not aware. And this is just who she is deep down inside. And even though I don't agree with it, um, if it's not manipulative, I have a different feeling about it. Coming up on Next Action Star, it's time for the finalists to find out if they have what it takes. Sean is a very manly type guy. He's my competition. For some, it may be too much. We're very nervous. We know it's our last shot. She just was all over the map. She didn't get it. For others, it may not be enough. Hopefully, Howard Fine's class will help us get through this next screen. He irked me. I hated him. I think we all felt the pressure because we know six more people are being eliminated. Sometimes actors are in scenes where there are no explosions, no special effects, and it's just one-on-one -on -one talking. And that really shows us a lot. On set, we all felt the pressure because we know six more people are being eliminated. We didn't get a lot of sleep, so we had a lot of things working against us. 
the scene is about a husband and a wife, and there's been a terrible earthquake, and one of the two is trapped, hence the name, and, and dying. And it's kind of their last final moment. It should read, you know, while wow, these people really love each other, they really had an intimate relationship. Okay, you gotta learn this, 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 this. Yeah. You got two days. But you know, it's not two days, it's now. I mean, it's like, you're just script. Okay, in the morning. It's like, you either I don't think anybody rehearsed the bullseye, or you, guys. you don't, you, you don't have time. It was Mark and I uh, haven't had a lot of time to plan what we're gonna do in our audition. I know we're both very nervous. We know it's our last shot. My partner wouldn't rehearse with me. He rehearsed with me like literally two times. Okay, can I give him a show right this way? This, this show's auditions was the first time I've ever been in front of a camera outside of seeing myself on the Circuit City cameras when you swing them around and play. I mean, I've never had any acting experience other than third grade school play. Right, here's when you need to head back here. So this would actually be the... That's the end mark. It's very nerve-wracking <laughs> new experience, right? Okay, we'll try a dry run, no effects, and no walk you through it. This whole thing is like Alice in Wonderland. I don't know what the heck is gonna happen next. I'm in the rabbit hole, and I can't get out. Ah! Hold on, Angel. I'm right here. Mark, you ah! Corey! It's so bad. Oh, God. Oh, baby. Baby, I need you to get up right now, baby. I need you to get up right now. Michelle, thank God, was not um, overdoing it in terms of the start, and she actually kept it pretty centered to me. It really was a for me. And I'm being tough on them because it's a dramatic, it's a really hard piece. I mean, you have to, you have to have instincts to, able to, to be able to do the scene because there's not a lot of dialogue. So much has to be, inter you know what I mean? That if you don't create that, you're dead in the water. No, you cannot die on me! He resisted the kiss. He was very tight-lipped, and I tried to kiss him, but the kiss didn't happen. Cut! I didn't feel he gave very much. Uh, May, I liked her. She was more method with it, and that's fine. I would have liked to have seen her offer her partner some hope that help was on the way, that he was going to make it. And um, I felt that Santino played injured and uh, in pain, the best of anybody in that role. I'm gonna get help, okay? I'm gonna get us out of here right okay. now. Cool. My scene partner today was Melisande, and she was awesome. We talked very little about our acting experience. She said that she had little to none, and you could have fooled me. You're my best friend, Corey. Like Jared a lot, intense. I love his short hair. I love the way he looks. I love his intensity. I love what he brought to it. She just was all over the map. I just, she didn't get it. But I like her, I still wanna, I, it's like I have this want to keep working with her. Peyton, Peyton. Car. Yeah. I love you. What I, do you, I oh, don't talk you. like that. Uh, I remember the first time I saw you. You were, you were reading that book. What? No, stop. Remember stop. that book? That book? Stop. Sorority? And, and you were laughing. I'll call for help. I'll get you out of here right now. <laughs> no! I'm so sorry. No! <laughs> it can be really harsh, you know. I think everyone's their own worst critic. For me, sure, yeah, I would have loved to have done it ten more times, and I definitely could have done it better. But we only got one take. What did you think, Scott? Um, it seemed like they were not communicating or connecting to each other what each other was saying. He didn't get like he's being, it's sentimental, you're dying. It's not like picking up a chick at a coffee bar. He irked me. I hated him in it. I can't defend myself. Follow me. Set the door, please. Set the door, please. Set the door, please. I don't really know what would make me stand out the most. Uh, except just keep staying relaxed and, and trying to um, try to do my best, man. I was, I was in the garage and everything went black and when it hit, I, you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> Stop thinking about you, baby. I didn't, I didn't know where you were. And uh, take it to the casting directors. Take it to them. Come on. Come on. Because those are the ones judging me. I'm confident about my work. I'm not saying that I'm, uh, that I'm a great actress yet, but I work hard enough to have the confidence to go into my audition and know that I'm gonna do the best I can. And it's normally a pretty good job. Well, I hated Sean yesterday. I love Sean today. Finally, someone that made this scene make sense. I love her as a blonde. I love their chemistry. I loved his first moment. Wow. Come on. He really played it with, you know, a good combination of strength and tenderness. And um, I got the chills. I literally yeah. got the chills. I was like, okay. I really believed that there were, you know, that there was life and death at stake, and, and yeah. exactly what was going on. Yeah. I know who my competition is. I feel. I feel Sean is my competition. He's a very strong man. I like. I represent like a very manly type guy. Sean is a very manly type guy. Okay, he's, he's the blonde version. But I think he's the blonde version of me. Sean fascinates me, man. He impressed the hell out of me, and. He would be, he, he might make me look bad if I, if I acted a scene with him because he's so good. Coming up on Next Action Star, the remaining finalists get their shot in front of a camera. Action! I love you. Oh! Yeah. That Viviana knows how to kiss. But who's got the confidence to impress the judges? I'm drawn to watching her. All you saw her do was cry. And later, callbacks. Which 14 finalists are moving on and which six are saying goodbye? <laughs> comfortable with them and like we bonded and we have that um, connection so I feel really good about it right now. You guys listening? Yeah. Young and Krista, you guys come out, let's get you ahead and get you guys set up. I uh, got a lot more intimate through the exercises we learned this morning and we just uh, just broke barriers. I think I'm just as good a shot as anybody else. I'm not experienced at all but that's okay we're still on the same page right now we've all got equal opportunity and I'm just gonna go give it my all. Draw and action! Here we go! Oh my god! Stella! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! Oh my god! I always love you. No! Don't oh say that! No! No! <laughs> Once again, we have an actress who's entering, already crying, already telegraphing the end of the scene. I'm getting kind of tired of everybody starting crying, you know, yeah. like, uh, when they come in instead of looking for their their spouses. It was hard because I was trying to be receptive of what he was saying and, you know, go back and forth like it would re really be, but I felt very rushed. It just happened so fast. I'm a rookie at this, and I'm in no position to tell Krista that she, you know, she dropped the ball and messed things up. I think he was rushing the lines, trying to get the lines out. I would have liked him giving me maybe a little bit more. It was great. It was just really good to be. It was perfect. It looks really good. You guys are pretty good. It's so different than... No, no, no. It was really good. We were all jaw, like, 10 jaws open. All of us. You guys had the... I gotta get you up! Oh, I thought I, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, oh come in. I was in the garage. Oh, and then it hit and everything went dark. Oh, oh, God. oh I can think about was you. I didn't know if I, I didn't know where you were. Oh. <laughs> 
he really brought a lot to it, a lot more yeah. dynamic and levels than I've seen from him. I, I was disappointed in the way the whole scene came together with those two, um, yet I saw some sincerity, so I'm still, I'm still gonna be on the fence with this. How about you? But I do have to say, he kissed like a pro. <laughs> We were jumping in each other's arms and giving her piggyback because we really worked hard to do what we did. And we truly believe we did do the best that we could do. To be an actor, you have to have an enormous amount of respect for yourself, the other people that you're working with. You have to listen to other people too, and you have to let them finish their sentences. Sometimes. Because they might have something that you can use. Would you help me with that? Like if you see that I'm... I'm, no, I'm not a coach. I tend to let my emotions take over, but at the end of the day, if they take over, I lose. The text is too strict for me. Okay, what, say, what, what right, would take so we'll easier for you? If I could just make it up, like if I could blend it. So this is a very dramatical scene, and you can overdo it or you can underdo it. I think it'd be good as long as it's not over-dramatized. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Right now is about acting, and it doesn't matter how loud you are. It comes down to the acting skills. And my truth is, I gotta save this man, and I cannot be a whiny. I gotta save this man, and I got the power to do it. Oh, is it? I'm gonna kiss you, okay? And everything's gonna be fine, okay? Okay? I love you. <laughs> It was definitely the best kiss. That Viviana knows how to kiss. <laughs> uh, she knows how to kiss. Those kisses. Uh, I am, must say I am pleasantly surprised. She listened to him. Her responses were appropriate. Yep. I am, she really surprised me. It was the first time as the next action star. I didn't need an applause. And I definitely expect a call back. And action! I need to rehearse. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not the type of actor who just show up not knowing anything and, 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 you know, I think it showed, you know, because we didn't have that chemistry amongst each other. <laughs> I never thought I was going to again. <laughs> Peyton! Chemistry-wise, just energy-wise, I don't think that we uh, bond really, really well. I'm drawn to watching her. Really? Yes. All you saw her do was cry. Yeah, and I liked it. <laughs> she didn't even get her dialogue out that I heard. She, well, who could hear with him screaming over her? He was trying to help her. And I still found myself watching him more than I was watching her. I think there's like two people that were happy. Yeah, we're ready. Everybody else is very hard on themselves. Well, yeah, I mean, you thought you didn't do well. I hated my performance. Mark thought he didn't do good. I just, I, I wasn't even there. And I mean, the scene was over, and I couldn't even tell you what happened. I thought I had a, a good grasp on it, and then I just went out there and uh, had a bad day. And uh, today was a bad day to have a bad day. Coming up on Next Action Star, the judges make their decision as the 20 finalists find out which 14 are moving into the Next Action Star mansion. I think we're all very excited about the possibility of getting into the house. Advancing one step closer to becoming the Next Action Star. Zero High Speed Recap, the casting panel must decide who will get a call back and who will go home. This is a big moment. Scott and Mark and I have to decide who is going into the house. We are going to eliminate the next six. All right, we're on. Uh, Jean. Peyton, you're not gonna die. <laughs> We gave her like three chances to show us that she was an action star and I didn't see it. I would still like to see her go forward. Matt M. I gotta get you up. <sighs> he just played it all one note. He was too urgent, too out of breath. I like Matt. I think Matt's fun and I think he's a different flavor and he's fun, he's wacky. I still haven't seen enough to make a decision. Goodbye, Matt, for me. I'm saying call him back. 
Todd. Come on! It hurts bad. He can't do dramatic, and it's obvious that he's like very one note, and he doesn't have the dichotomy or the balance. I'm just not gonna go further with Todd. I just think he's special, so um, I'm voting callback. Krista. Oh my God. Her scene work didn't work for me today. She played too whimpery. I think that she has a sophistication. I think she needs to crack through a couple of levels. I can't let her go. Mark, I think he's got the goods. He did well today. I'd rather watch paint dry. Paint dry, that's, that's pretty brutal. Sean. I think he needs to push it forward and take risks. I think he is, plays emotionally safe, and I want to just slap it out of him. I'd love to see him in the house. He's, he's intense. His scene was unbelievable today. His makeover made him look even better. He's got it going on. He should pack his bags, go to the house. Viviana. What do you need? Tell me what you need. <laughs> From where she was the other day, she brought it way down, she made it real. I like looking at her. I don't yeah, feel she's ready to carry um, a film. There's something I still really like. She's likable. I like her. Definitely the more you see of them, the clearer you get about who should go. Hi, everybody. As you all know, these are your callbacks. Being the next action star, huge. I feel like the weight of the Asian American community is on me. The following 14 have gotten callbacks and will be moving into the next action star mansion, which means that six of you will have to be going home tonight. The stakes are high, and I think we're all very excited about the possibility of getting into the house. The first callback is for Sean. I kind of think I'm doing okay, but you know, maybe I'm not an action actor. Summer. Jared. Corinne. It's really nerve wracking to watch people sitting there and all tense and it's really tough. Harold. Yeah. Linda. I'm competing against people that are awesome actors, and there is where I, I'm scared of. This time, I'm not gonna cry. They will cry if they don't get me into that chair. Greg. <laughs> Melisan. John. I don't think I've ever been so nervous in my life. I got so many knots in my stomach and in my throat. May. Santino. Everybody brings something to the table. I feel that at this point, I'm not gonna be the next nation star. Viviana. Uh, rejection is a huge part of this business. Actors face more rejection than people in other professions would face in a lifetime. Once again, I have two scripts left for one man and one woman to move on to the next action star mansion. Mark. The 
this is the last script for a woman who will move on to the next level. John. The six of you will have a few seconds to say your goodbyes. And the 14 of you are on the road to becoming the next action star. Congratulations. Why did you put the other seven girls over me? What qualities specifically were you looking for? I would love to see those tapes. I would love to talk to the judges right now. Krista deserves to be in that house. Viviana does not. She is not the next action star. I've had five years of experience in martial arts. And you tell me that I can't be a, an action star. And I think if you play the tapes back, I'm better than at least one. This is completely whack. I feel like everything in life happens for a reason. I'm just gonna take the good and leave the rest behind. It's just a typical audition that you don't happen to get. But unfortunately, I have three and a half million viewers in the USA that are gonna sit here and watch the whole thing. action star. 13 finalists will move into this Hollywood mansion where the screen test and the training really heat up. You will not screw this up. Everybody got it? Move! What's up with your guns? I don't want to be within three feet of Viviana, period, when she's holding any sort of firearm whatsoever. I do not feel safe around her. You were very rude to me. I can take my nose and stick it up. You are an asshole. She's very explosive. You have no idea. She just freaked. I don't give a fuck about you. She is around. That's going to be someone's problem. In acting class, Harold gets lost that in his dark past, mm -hmm. and it may yeah. cost him his future. It's like, whoa. We have flames being tossed at us. We have blanks that can kill within 25 feet. I, I dropped my line. Fight! Repeat! You gotta be on top of your game. Tonight, I'm nervous. I hope I make it. I don't know if I will this time. It's so wild, man. What's in? That's sick? It's off the hook? Is that still in? It's what? It's gangster? What do you say? For shizzle, right? <laughs>